Okay, welcome to the studio. This is my daily uh, working place with a lot of pleasure. See some of my works and uh, the place for my students. And uh, well, make a happy look around. I have a lot of experiences from uh, my travels, especially uh, uh, Tromsø, where I was in the uh, last last year. And uh, well, I also love to make seascapes and uh, boats, especially, but also uh, urban street views. And uh, this is one of my walks in uh, the Dutch country. What inspires you to do seascapes? Well, water has always been an important uh, role in my life. And uh, as a young boy, I, uh, I, I was at, at the water. So uh, it never left me. And uh, that's why I'm doing watercolor, because it's all be done with water. And uh, well, I love to see much, much more of mountains. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm from the sea. So I was uh, nearly 20 years at the Royal Navy as, uh, as a doctor. So the sea is my, my second home. And this, when I'm painting in, uh, in grey days, and, uh, then I want to be at the sea. So it's always the desire to be there where you you should like to, to, to be. But sometimes I remember good things from uh, from travel and I want to be there. So that that's the fun of painting, that we can be free, we can paint what we want. And sometimes I uh, do it for the colors. And uh, I like rusty boats as well, because they have uh, their own story, uh, not used more, but they tell a lot about all how all was the in the past. And they all have a history. Until 12 years I always painted with oil, but oil you can improve and improve and improve. I was too precise, but watercolor, you have two chances. Mm. It goes well, it goes not well. So that's the chance of watercolor. It, it's fluid, you, you, you get soft edges, you get hard edges. Uh, the, the, the water does, does the work, so for me it was a revelation. Wow, this is watercolor. So I left my oil brushes and all is watercolor now. And uh, yes, I'll, I'll never get, get back. So that's watercolor.